Welcome back my lovely simps and today we're going to have a comfort video. This is a, a Todoroki Shoto X listener. I, I just want to write it, I'll be leaving the link in the description below if no one wants to check it out. And just a little warning, it has some. I'm going to try to do some editing so there will be a, the sound of thunder. So if anybody don't like that, you should probably leave the video. But no further ado, let's begin. The sound of the thunder roaming through the halls of the UA dorms woke you up. The time was currently 2.34 am on a Saturday night. Outside there was a storm that would last for most of the night. Everyone seemed to not mind it, but it was different for you. The sound of the thunder made you scared. It did that ever since you were a child. The fear of the thunder was the fear that would most likely stick with you for the rest of your life. You could hear the thunder getting worse, and the shaking of your body increased. Usually, when you there were a storm, you would go to one of your friends and stay the night. But ever since you moved into the UM dorms, you got placed in the boys area. The, there was apparently gone something wrong when the UA dorms was built, so there was only guys near your room. But there was one guy you could trust, and it was Shoda Sarvaki. You and Shoda used to be somewhat of friends when you guys were younger, but as you guys grew up you started losing connection and stopped talking to each other, so going to him would not be the best option. So, the only thing you could think of was to take a pillow over your head and hide away for the night. As the thunder were getting worse and louder, you started tearing up. Without anyone to comfort you, you felt all alone. What do I do? What to do? What do I do? Your mind started racing. You just wanted the thunder to go away. The sound was scary for you, and loud. You just wanted not to be alone. <coughs> Your phone started ringing a couple of minutes later, but you ignored it, too scared to move from your place. <coughs> it rang again. You didn't answer. Then the last time it rang. There was a. S then it was silence. Only a sound of rain could be heard. You heard a knock on the door. Your door was open, so if anyone wanted to come in, they could. Then they knocked again. Then you could hear the sound of the door opening and closing, and from the side of your eyes, you could see a tall figure at the door. There was no light in the room, only light, light was the light that came from the thunder. The figure started walking closer and closer to reveal, reveal to Rocky. He had walked from his room that was a couple of rooms away and walked into yours. But why? Did he need something? Or was it something else? Hey, are you okay? Taroki's calm voice said, You didn't reply. You didn't want to bother him with your fears of the thunder. I know you don't like the thunder. I can remember you told me that when we were kids. Oh, yeah, you remember that. It was the time when you, you were over at Taroki's house to sleep. And at night it was thundering. Remember that he held you through the night to make you feel safe. And you told him all about your fear. Do you mind if I sit? Taroki hinted to him sitting on your bed. You only replied in a small voice. Sure. Your voice sounded a little broken. Taroki then sat at the end of the bed and didn't say any words. Didn't even say one. He just looked at you. 
Not wanting, not wanting to do something that would make, that you wouldn't like. A couple of seconds after Soraki sat down, there was a loud thunder. A little squeal escaped from lips as you held the blanket close to you. Soraki noticed and came closer. Want me to hold you? Soraki was the person that was really upfront, so he said what he thought. You only nodded in response, not wanting to use your words. He sat beside you and he gently put his arms around you. He lost the grip of your comfort blanket and gripped the night shirt that Rocky was wearing. He didn't say anything, just help you, help you in an attempt to calm you down. He wanted you to relax at your own speed, not wanting you to feel like a bother. So he just held you and just gently scratched your back and hair. Coming down was not <laughs> really easy for you, so you just close your eyes and focus on Taraki. As the night went on, you fell asleep to the rock holding you and a little smile on your face. Was the fan fiction? Um, I don't know how the editing thing, editing will go. Blah, 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 words. <laughs> so if you guys think I should keep it this way that I edit the video now, please tell me in comments below or if there's something you guys think I should change, the sound of the music in the background or the thunder, anything like that. I would love some criticism. And yeah, thank you guys for listening. And I'll see you guys in the next video. I will be leaving the dis my Discord server in the description below. And yeah, <laughs> have a good night, day, or afternoon. Bye bye!